The last time we looked at solar charge controllers on this channel, we took a look at this MPPT charge controller I picked up from HamSource at the Huntsville Hamvention. Then I noticed that this solar charge controller from Battery of Power uh, came on Amazon and was about 10 bucks cheaper than this. They look identical. What's the difference? Let's take a look on the bench at what we get and then we'll hop outside and look and see if it in fact is a clean charge controller. My name is Mike K at MRD and this is Ham Radio Tube. So here we have the Battery of Power 10 amp MPPT solar charge controller. Take a look at what we have. We've got a couple the SAE leads with uh, just bare wire there. You can put on whatever kind of connector you want. Comes with a user manual and the charge controller itself. And as I said before, this is the one from HamSource. Boy, are they not exactly the same darn thing. So uh, I've already had people tell me that they bought the battery of power and it was noisy. We reviewed another battery of power on the channel uh, a little while ago. It was noisy, so I wanna take it out and see if in fact these are the same, or maybe when you buy this one from HamSource, maybe they do have some input into the manufacturer and say, hey, make sure this is shielded so it doesn't put out any RFI. So I've already got a couple leads here that have some uh, power poles on there so we can just connect the two together so I don't have to put power poles on this unless it works. So I'm gonna grab a solar panel and a dead battery and we'll use my uh, 705 and we'll take a look outside to see if this is in fact a good charge controller. And here's what we're using to test. We've got a Bioeno 100 watt panel out there in the sun. We've got my Big Geek battery box here uh, that will hook up the charge controller to so we can monitor uh, the current coming in. And then we've got the 705 that we'll use that is hooked up to an antenna that we'll use to see uh, if we get any RFI from this. All right, so we're gonna plug the solar panel into the solar panel input of the charge controller. You can see it is set for lithium iron phosphate. And then I can plug the other end into this power pole. And as soon as I flip this switch, we should start to see the current ramping up. Okay, took a minute for it to ramp up the uh, current there. We're getting 61 watts. 62 watts, it's two o'clock. Solar panel is pretty much in direct sunlight now. So now let's see, do we see any RFI? I'm not seeing anything. I mean, it's, you, you know when you've got some hash coming off of these charge controllers. It's just there. So let's try 20 or 40 meters rather. That could be some right there. I bet you a hundred dollar bill that is some there. And it's like there, there, there. It's kind of hard to see on the camera here. Let me unplug the charge controller. Nope, okay, so that's just local noise. Charge controller is totally off. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Nowhere, no noise. That could be some. That looks like the telltale sign. I mean, we're out of band on 80 meters, but let's see if that is some. Where did it go? There. I'll bet you that is some. Yep, just unplugged the solar panel, uh, the charge controller. It's gone. So I've been tuning around for a bit. I haven't seen any noise so far. Uh, I found a little bit on 17 meters here. I mean, it's almost nothing, but let's unplug the panel. Yeah, it's still there, so. Yeah, charge controller is totally off. So, that's local noise as well, which is, I guess, a good thing and a bad thing for me. But good for the charge controller. Not seeing. Anything here on 15 meters? It'd be a big spike of noise, you'd just, you would know. 
Got nothing here on 12 meters. I checked this noise out here. That's local. It's just every band looks really clean. I'm not seeing any, uh, any noise at all. So there we have it. We did see some noise down in the 2.9 megahertz range out of ham band. I didn't see any noise on any of the ham bands, 80 through 10. That noise in the two megahertz kind of bothers me though a little bit because I have seen charge controllers, the same charge controller put out noise on different frequencies. Just, I mean, it can shift, it can be in a different area. So I'm gonna give this one a maybe at best just because there technically was noise. So being that the battery and the ham source, they have to be the same thing. They have to come from the same manufacturer with just a different sticker on them. So it could just be down to uh, the product quality or lack thereof between every one of these. Again, I did have, I know for a fact, I had at least one person in the comments of the last video say that they did have a lot of noise from their battery of power charge controller. So I guess the good news is you buy it from Amazon. If it works, great. If not, you can send it back and get your money back. Maybe buy another one. I don't know, but uh, yeah, kind of on the fence on this one. So anyway, thanks for watching Ham Radio 2. We'll see you next time. 73.